Your Excellency, the President of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, my Governor, the Governor for Nakuru County, Members of Parliament, Senators, Watu wa Kanisa, Askofu, Wanainchi, Mrembe Mposi, Mrembe Handi. Your Excellency, I'm glad to have this opportunity to talk. Lakini kwanza wacha niende kwa Askofu. Askofu leo umezungumza vizuri sana. Wajua leo asubuhi nilisema nipumzike kidogo nione kwa mtandao kanisa yangu pale naindanga ikiwa kwa mtandao nilikuwa kwa nimechoka. Alafu nikasikia kuna hii sherekeo leo. Na nikatoka kwa nyumba kwa mbio. Sisi wote watu wa Nairobi wale wa ODM na wale wa UDA tuko kwa broad based government. Tumekuja hapa tukusherekee 73 years tunawapatia mapongwezi 73 years ni Mungu mwenyewe na vile oskofi umezungumza haki umeshika roho yangu sikuizi watu wa kanisa wamekuwa hawana hope wao wenyewe sasa kama watu wa kanisa wanakosa hope sisi tutaenda wapi oskofi umezungumza habari ya hope umezungumza habari ya vitu za serikali umezungumza habari ya shif umezungumza habari ya gender based violence Umezungumza habari ya unity. Umesema lazima tuwe watu ambao tunaamini tutakuwa na hiyo uwezo ya kusurvive. Tusikose hope. Forward ever backward never. Nimekusikiza vizuri na ninaomba watu wa kanisa wenyewe ambao wanalinda makanisa kila saa wanatisha tisha rais wetu na wana prophesize vitu ambao si mazuri. Tunasema wao wapate hope. Kwa sababu Mungu wetu kweli anapenda Kenya. Mungu wetu kweli anapenda rais wetu. Mungu kwetu kweli ameweka rais wetu na patilida wetu Raila pamoja ili Kenya iende mbele. Na tuwezi kwenda mbele bila amani. Hiyo amani inatoka kwa Mungu. God is love. Na kama God is love, hataki nyumba ambayo kila saa inakuwa divided. Anataka tukae pamoja mstari kwanza. Your Excellency, what the governor has just spoken about femicide. It's not a woman issue. Every time somebody is killed Women leaders are told where are you what are you doing this is a national concern you know i saw your counterpart in south africa actually remove bail completely and i know it's a constitutional issue and it's a human rights issue but sometimes we know the persons who are guilty are still being bailed and their cases are taking forever and they are walking scot free and the woman has been killed butchered raped defiled dead I really feel we, you, you should take this up. We need a squad. We dealt with terrorism with a terrorism squad. We need a squad in the police force to deal with femicide, to deal with sexual gender based violence because it is becoming very scary every single day. Alafu nataka kusema kwa mtandao wajua kila saa hata uwezi kujua kama kitu imetendezwa ili wapate likes au ni ukweli. Tafadhali serikali ni yetu sisi sote. Tusiwe kila saa tunaangusha serikali yetu. Kama tunataka serikali ituchunge, si pia sisi tuwe watu ambao tunaheshimu law and order. Hatuwezi kuwa watu ambao tunaweka vitu kwa mtandao ambao labda si haki. Alafu tunatusi serikali kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni. We have to work together. Femicide nataka wanaume wasimame. Waanze kuchunga wamama. Waanze kuchunga wasichana waze kuchunga sisi kwa sababu the oldest woman in this country who's been raped is 83 years old the youngest 5 months tuko na shida askofu lazima tuombe sana ili Mungu ageuze roho ya wanaume muanze kuchunga wamama na watoto wenu sasa watakuwa likizo wewe mwanaume chunga watoto na watoto wote wetu ambao wanapata mimba wakiwa likizo ni wanaume wetu ambao wanatukosea. Wacheni wasichana wetu, wacheni watoto wetu, chunga mama. Mwanaume simama imara kwa sababu hata kama utashikwa na serikali, Mungu halali na naona vile mnatenda. Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Congratulations. Asanti, wamekubatiza mama region wa Nairobi. <laughs> na tuko na region zote sio? 